Alrighty folks, time for a little bit of an update on the charger. Uh, it's been installed in the car now, um, the guts of six months and uh, functioning fine. Up to about a week ago when I started having problems with the NTC anti-surge, um, or I should say anti-inrush devices um, that were connected onto the AC input to the main rectifier um, in order to prevent the circuit breakers tripping by the capacitor inrush current. Um, so they started to fail. Um, I changed out two of them and the second set failed within a couple of days again. So. I decided yesterday to bite the bullet um, and to uh, see if I could implement a, a pre-charging system. So as you can probably see the space inside the enclosure here is quite tight and that's what had been holding me back um, from doing so. But uh, I managed to get it in there and it's working fine the last few charging cycles so I just walk you guys through it here now. Um, the first element is the pre-charge resistor itself. So if I open up there a little bit, you should be able to see it in there. Uh, just It's one that I happen to have. It's a 100 ohm, 100 watt uh, power resistor that's just bolted in here because it was kind of a the only free space that I had that would actually uh, take it and it's wired back along the side there in a bit of heat shrink sleeving and uh, that comes over here to the rectifier and I managed to squeeze in beside that a uh, 25 amp two pole contactor it's a small type and uh, this one has a 230 volt AC coil and I was able to wire the uh, contacts in parallel uh, so that should give me all of the uh, current handling capability that I need and um, as you can see the red wire there basically goes across the uh, contactor normally open contacts contact or contact and um, so that when the mains is first applied the 100 ohm resistor limits the inrush current uh, for, cha for charging the big uh, bus capacitor. Now what I then managed to squeeze in between the two capacitors is a very simple little universal timer Again, 230 volt input, and it's got a little 4 amp um, changeover contact in it that you can program to do various functions depending on the position of these little setting wheels here um, on the front fascia. And what I've got it uh, set for is on delay 4 seconds, about 4, 4.5 four se seconds, so that when the uh, when the mains is connected to the ch the charger, it gets a four second delay uh, before the contactor closes, and thus allows plenty of time um, for the capacitor to fully pre-charge to the DC bus voltage before the contactor closes. Now, with a hundred ohms. Um, even if you connect the power at the peak of the mains cycle, you're only going to see about 3 amps uh, of current flow for a very short period of time. So that's, uh, I think, something that I should have done when I first built the charger, but I guess uh, that's the process. Um, you, you just can't know everything ahead of schedule or you'd never actually need to build anything but 
So yeah, that's a little update on the charger. Uh, apart from that, it's working perfectly with the new um, 52S 4P battery pack. Okay, that's it for now. Alrighty, so we're on charge. I don't know how well this is going to come out because we've got a bit of sunlight going on here, but we're, uh, we're pushing about 33 amps or so at 174 volts. And uh, charger's in the constant current phase. And uh, if we come over here, be able to see that our contactor flag shows us that we're closed. And uh, the timer has uh, energized uh, relay. And uh, that's about it, really. Um, so we uh, got our coolant tank, which uh, basically just runs normal um, antifreeze coolant in it. And uh, we probably not sure yet, but the uh, yeah, never get a good camera, do I? But the uh, pump should be coming on now. It generally comes on when the heat sink gets to about 20 degrees, I think, if uh, if memory serves. Ah, there it goes. So there's the coolant pump on, and coolant is flowing, and uh, as you can just hear, the cooling fans are on on the radiator, and uh, that really is the charger, folks. It just works. Um, it uh, charges the battery. Um, as I say, now that I've got the pre-charging system in there for the bus capacitor. I think that can only improve upon it. Uh, just uh, if we hop into the car. Yeah, get my lunch out of the way here for a minute. There we go. See that we're currently, if I can even see this screen, God, 34, about 34. 34 and a half amps or so we're pushing at uh, 174.5 volts, um, 52.8 percent, about a 30 amp hours of uh, consumed energy. So uh, that will count down or count back um, towards zero. And uh, that's about it for the charger, folks. Um, it really just does what it says on the tin.